Eric back with Auto Replay and on this 2008 Dodge Nitro, we're gonna be doing the tail lights. So right here we've got brand new tail lights from Eagle Eyes Auto Lamp. Bought these off eBay for like 60 bucks. I got a pair. I think they're like uh, 38.99 a pay, uh, single. So basically, uh, let's go ahead and pop this trunk. That key right here. And basically we just got to take these little plastic grommets out with a flathead screwdriver, pull those out, and then the whole tail light assembly comes out towards the back of the car. Off to my toolbox. Set up on here. Let me see what I got. Yeah, a short one. Here's a big old screwdriver. That'll probably work. Back up here. Let's see about just putting that in there. I think they just pop out. Let's see. From what I remember. Oh yeah, this one kind of pulls out. It's got the little piece in the middle. So that's how you pull those out. <laughs> Get that. So basically you use a grommet remover, like a plastic trim remover. And this whole assembly, it's all cracked up. So we're gonna be fixing that obviously. This whole assembly pulls out towards the back. So probably grab it right there and just pulls out. It's got little tabs that pop in one there and one down there. And there's just a plug right here that basically it's unplug it from. So let me work on that. Then uh, we got some Torx screw bits right here and right there. We go ahead and take that loose. This is your whole uh, light bulb assembly circuit board right here. So that's going to detach from the tail light assembly. I think, all right, so I think I got a T20 or T25. It's kind of hard to read on there. Stick it in there and we're just going to break these loose. And basically I've already loosened these up to change out the bulb before, so uh, should be good to go. And that comes loose from the actual tail light assembly that's all cracked and broken. Let me get that going. I may have to change out a bulb. There. Oh yeah, one of those bulbs blew. That's the one that was giving me issues. So Gently take this out. Look at getting a new one. Let's see, I got one of those bulbs. So it looks like I will have to run to the store to get one of these. Uh, a 4157K. Looks like it fit in there. Not a big deal. We'll throw that to the side for now. And basically, we're going to take our new tail light assembly here and just take these little. Sticker things off. Yeah, work on. So basically, just unpeel them, grab them from the side. Yeah, this last one. Get that, and we're gonna take the. I'm gonna get a bow. I'll I'll run and get one in a minute. We're gonna take this light assembly and just slide it back in place. Looks like the two. There's two on top and there's one on the bottom. So you can kind of see there's a big space in between. It only goes in kind of one way. So it's kind of snap that in place. And then the, the screw lines up there. That lines up there. And we'll just temporarily put it back in until I run to the store. And take our torch spit. Versus, this. We'll just temporarily tighten it up. The other side should be fine. 
in reverse installation basically just go back plug it in here and it slides back in place like so and you can kind of see there's like a little rubber insert here and a rubber insert here for these dial pins so what do you want to call it and that's got to slide in right there there you go and basically just pop these grommets back in place um, so basically these grommets I'm gonna pull this apart I like having these in two different pieces so you have this insert, then you have this little plug-in, and basically just popping in place. So let's say you got this one here, just slides that back into the body. Then this just goes inside of it. And I'll turn it a little bit so I can grab it later. And that's basically how you reinstall it. So we're gonna do the other side, knock it out, show you the final. We'll go ahead and do this one on the bottom. Down here too. We'll just temporary that for now. So that's what it looks like. All nice and new. <laughs> now we gotta do this side because this side is looking kind of cracked too. One thing I forgot to mention is that uh, there's like a little plastic hook right here for this wire harness and you do want to go ahead and pop that in place before you reassemble this whole light assembly just to hold the wire in place. So there we have it, both tail lights um, replaced in probably about five, 10 minutes, you know? Very easy to do. We'll catch you in the next one.